So today we're going to be looking at the Sandberg power bank 5000 and 10,000 wireless 5 and 10 watts chargers basically they're exactly the same that one just gives you double the amount of charges for an average smartphone you probably get four charges out of that one that one you'll get two so it gives you a rough idea so otherwise they're pretty much identical so we'll just uh, take a closer look at the larger one just bear in mind the smaller one is pretty much the same you just have the specifications um, so basically on the front you can see on here it tells you about all everything on there so this one's got your 10,000 milliamps um, compared to 5,000 on the other one and then you've got the four times charges so you can charge an average smartphone up to four times uh, the other one can do two it has got USB-C um, QC 3.0 so it's fast and powerful then you've got basically a picture there showing you you can do like tablets phones and different things like that so it gives you a rough idea of all the different things you can do and you've got your quite double quality tested which you tend to find on Sandberg stuff as well as your five year warranty the rest of the box tells you specifications on the side on the back you've got all your different languages otherwise that's pretty much it for the box okay so inside the box you've basically got the charger itself you've got the cable to charge it up with it's a usb cable so it won't charge off the mains unless you get a mains adapter uh, and then you've got your manual which tells you basically how to do it uh, it gives you all your different connections there it shows you you can basically charge it up through main socket or via the pc or whichever you wish on the bottom you've got some little lights there which will light up and show you how much power you got if you press your power button and that'll give you an idea how much charge is there unfortunately at the moment the device is totally dead by the looks of it yeah so let me plug it in and charge it up a little bit okay so I've got it plugged in it should be charging now so the basics is yeah if you look at the back you can see the charge light there that light basically says it's been charged and then you've got your power on there which tells you how much charge is left um, so it's going to be like one dot per 25 percent charge and obviously if all for or lit that means you've got a hundred percent charge so it gives you a rough idea but if you want to basically charge your device up you just get your mobile phone or whatever smart device is put it on top and then it should charge so if you want to charge your phone up, all you do is obviously charge it up. It's not going to do it now because there's not enough charge. But basically you put your phone on top and then it charges. And all you have to do um, if you want to stop charging is take it off. So that's how it, uh, basically a charger works on these, the QC chargers. So it's pretty straightforward. Because it's got these rubber suction pads on here, when you put your phone on top, it stops it sliding off as well. If you look, if you move your phone, it's actually moving the base of this. Would it be nice to have probably a... A suction pad or some rubber on the bottom just to stop it sliding on your desk but it gives you a rough idea so you just place it on top and away you go and just to show you it does work now I've charged the actual um, device up so if you put your phone on top it'll pop up and say it's charging so it gives you a rough idea so once it is fully charged bear in mind you'll get an average of four charges for an average smartphone bear in mind if you've got an extra large smartphone the battery will take up more of a charge um, so obviously if your battery in your phone is 5000 milliamps for whatever reason the battery in this is 10,000 that means you're going to get two charges if your battery is only 2000 milliamps then this holds 10 so that means you're going to get five charges so it depends on your phone battery